Alright, for Lee and Andy, this is another attempt at me trying to help out with the uh, crossroad solo. Um, my idea for this, I'm going to show you Form 1 and Form 2. They're in the emails that I sent. Uh, show you just one or two kind of ideas that you can do with the notes, and I don't know, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully this is helping. Uh, so this is Form 1. starting on the 10th fret to the 8th fret of the E string. Now, what I want to point out is all these notes in Form 1 and Form 2 are exactly the same, and a lot can be done by just kind of playing around with them to create some type of solo. As an example, um, Jimmy Page on, on Stairway to Heaven solo kind of does something like this, and these are pretty much all notes from Form 1 and Form 2, and you'll watch. So that's kind of an idea. I'm not going to explain that one exactly. I'll explain some different stuff. Some other things you can do are just kind of repeating maybe three or four notes and going across. I'll show you what I mean. So, just kind of like repeating, you know, The other thing that can be done is a lot with just a bend. Um, so I'm on the G string here, 7th fret, and when you combine the, the bend with maybe one or two other notes, like that's kind of the idea. The other really important thing I want to stress is, since we're playing an A minor pentatonic, all the A notes are extra important. So there's an A note right here, there's an A note right here, and there's an A note right here. And if you watch me, watch me combine form one and form two, and play from this A note, or this A note, to this A note. So. All that is, is Like, since you're starting on the A and resolving, ending that phrase on the A, it kind of links them together. So, and uh, what I'm going to try to do now is is play one or two of the licks that I actually played on the solo. Um, now, none of the licks I played on the YouTube that we we have were like thought out in advance. It's kind of just improvised. Um, but I'll play one or two of them here and hopefully show you how I did them and hopefully that'll help. So the first thing I kind of played was something like... And again, that's starting on the B string, 10th fret, with the bend. That's the A note again, which is really important. And I'm kind of hitting it and then picking it again on the way down to get that... So... And for this next one, I go... So that's kind of uh, what we're on the, uh, the D string on the 5th fret, we're doing a slide down. And if you notice, we're actually sliding down to the A note. So the A note again is really important. And if you notice, I'm ending that phrase on the A note again, so... kind of phrase I do is something like again that's the A note 
and I do a bend here on the uh, tenth fret of the E string. So there's a lot that you can do here with just those patterns, if that makes sense. Um, I really think it's important to pick the A note here.